What's going on guys? This is Lior and welcome back to my channel. Now, what I thought I would do in this video is give you guys my top four suburbs north of Boston to live in. You know, I've had a lot of people reach out to me asking not only about downtown living, but also suburb living, particularly north of Boston. That is a very attractive area. So I thought I would highlight my four favorite cities. I'll talk about lifestyle, things to do there, and of course, home pricing, if you're considering buying a home there. So with that, let's get at it. Ooh, what's going on guys? My name is Lior and welcome back to my channel. Now, before I get into the meat and potatoes of the video, super quickly guys, if this is your first time on my channel, first of all, welcome. Second of all, make sure you smash that subscribe button for me. I'm still putting out weekly content on this channel, all about Boston neighborhoods, lifestyle, real estate, and everything in between. So if that's what you're looking for, make sure you subscribe. And number two, guys, if you're thinking of making any sort of move within the greater Boston area, whether you're buying, selling, investing, whatever it may be, me and my team here get so many calls from you guys looking to make moves in real estate, and we love each and one of those calls. So if you're looking to do anything with real estate, hit us up and we will definitely, definitely help you out. So with that, let's get right into the meat and potatoes of the video and let's start with the first suburb I wanted to highlight, probably one of my favorite cities just north of Boston and it is Melrose. Now, the reason I love Melrose is, first of all, it's actually quite close to Boston. Right, from a location perspective, you're maybe only 20, 25 minutes away from downtown, which is really nice, especially if you're working in the city, but wanna live in kind of an quieter suburb. Now, I think Melrose is just a really quaint, peaceful, quiet kind of suburb, right? That's just what it is. Um, it's really cute, it's got a really cute downtown, and it's become a very, very popular city to live in. Now, it's got plenty of nice homes, got tons of parks, it does also have a great school system, which has made it very attractive for a lot of families. Now, in terms of things to do in Melrose, there's a lot of outdoor space, a ton of parks for you to enjoy. Some of them, I'll list them off right here. Mount Hood Memorial Park, it's a great park. It actually also has a golf course. Pine Banks, right on the Malden line, is actually another fantastic park. You're also very close to Middlesex Fells, which we'll talk about in this video, which is great for hiking, um, you know, and just being outdoors. So it's got a lot of really good outdoor amenities, a lot of outdoor space where you can hang out, walk, uh, hike, whatever it may be. You also have El Pond right in Melrose. Um, it's a super cute pond. You'll see people walking around there all the time. There's a dog park nearby. There's like fields nearby. So again, just a lot of like outdoor space to hang out, walk around in a really quiet suburb. Now, Melrose also has a great food scene, right? So it's not like you're kind of just living in the woods and you don't have anything else around you. You've got plenty of food options um, and they're quite diverse. Um, you know, some of the ones I was gonna list off here, Turner Seafood and Grill is really popular. You've got Ocean Sushi Restaurant, um, Mexican Food Love, Mexican Lindo, uh, and a bunch of other ones. The downtown on Main Street in particular is really cute and offers a lot of different options. So if you're in the area, hang out there, but plenty of options overall um, to enjoy, go out for a bite or dinner or lunch, whatever it may be. Now, in terms of transportation and convenience, what's really nice about Melrose is that it does have several commuter rail stops. So again, for the uh, working professional that's working downtown in the city, you can easily go get on the commuter rail and hop right into downtown. So it is really, really convenient. If you're gonna drive, you can drive very easily as well. You've got great access to Route 1, um, 93. If you're commute, you know, if you need to fly on business, it's very easy to get to Logan. You're not far from East Boston over there. So overall, just very, very convenient, easy to get in and out towards the city, you know, so that's why it's become a really, really popular option. Now, in terms of pricing, um, obviously, as you can tell, Melrose is a really attractive area to live in. It was actually a few years ago ranked one of the top hottest neighborhoods across the US. Um, that's how popular it was. 
but today the median home price in Melrose is certainly a little pricey. It's about $810,000. Again, obviously, you know, if you buy larger single families, it's gonna be more expensive. You can, of course, find cheaper single families or condos um, alternatives, but that's the median pricing. So again, a great city to live in and it just offers so much things to do. The second city I wanted to highlight in this video that has also become very, very popular and I get a lot of questions about um, is Stoneham. Now, Stoneham, of our uh, geographical perspective, is um, east of Melrose, um, borders Melrose on the east. It's just north of Medford and the Fells. You know, it, it borders Winchester, Woburn, um, and also on the north has uh, Wakefield and Reading. So it's pretty similar location. Um, again, another very quiet suburb that's not too far from the city, but is just quaint, peaceful, um, and is a great place to live in. Similar to Melrose, a lot of people have been moving to, Stone, uh, to Stoneham, especially younger families, um, you know, that might be priced out from the city because again, you're still kind of close to the city. You have really convenient transportation options, which we'll talk about, but of course you're paying a fraction of the price of the city and you're able to get, uh, live in the suburbs and typically have much more space. So that's why it's become really, really attractive. Now, in terms of things to do in Stoneham, it also, like Melrose, offers a lot of great outdoor things to do. But some of my favorites are Stone Zoo, um, which is a full functioning zoo um, on over 20 acres, I believe. Um, it is quite large, really family friendly. So if you've got kids, it's a great place to hang out. Now, in terms of other outdoor space, you've got Spot Pond and the Middlesex Fells, which we talked about uh, with Melrose. Again, both are gems for plenty of outdoor activities, hiking, uh, walking around, just hanging out. You know, they're just awesome, awesome features. A few other things I wanted to highlight with Stoneham is of course you do have a skating rink, which is used in the winter. That's actually quite popular. And once a year too, you have what's called the Stoneham Town Day. You know, the entire town basically gets together um, and sets of booths, you know, and just has an awesome kind of a community festive day. Now, in terms of shopping and convenience, as I mentioned, as I alluded to earlier, Stoneham like Melrose is very easy. Um, to kind of get in, in, get in and out, and especially towards the city, you're right by the 93 and 95 exits. So you can kind of get in in on the highway uh, system as needed, depending where in Stoneham you live in, in as well. Um, you're gonna be, you might be pretty close to the commuter rail lines in Melrose. So you can always hop over there. If you live south enough in Stoneham, you might be pretty close to the orange line in, in Malden. So you have some public transportation options as well. Now, in terms of the town itself, it is very walkable, right? Uh, you can actually walk to a lot of things, to a lot of the shops, restaurants, even the stores. It's not a very big town, but it is quite walkable, uh, which is really nice. And when you do walk there, um, you know, it's just very quintessential New England feel, kind of very small town um, charm to it. Uh, you know, which just makes it very, very unique. Now, in terms of price point, it is a little bit cheaper than Melrose. Right now, the average medium price in Stoneham is about $710,000. Um, so about $100,000 cheaper on average than in Melrose. And again, it's just been a, gaining a lot of steam over the years, right? Attracting a lot of people moving from the city. Got a pretty good school system, right? So again, uh, especially if you've got younger kids, it could be a great place to put them in the school system. So that's Stoneham, another great quintessential town here around the Boston area. Um, that's just a great suburb, close to everything, and is just a great place to live. Number three on my list, now let's keep it rolling, is Burlington. And Burlington, I think, is actually a really interesting place. Right, because it's also, um, you know, like the other towns, very convenient to get in and out of the city. You know, you can probably get to Burlington within about 25 minutes or so, depending on the traffic. You know, and of course, traffic in Boston can always vary a ton. But Burlington has a lot going on for it. Of course, the biggest thing Burlington is probably known for is the Burlington Mall. It is a massive, massive mall complex with just tons of retail stores, restaurants. You know, it's got like bowling alleys. It's a massive, massive mall, uh, really well known. Um, it has some really high-end stores, some really high-end restaurants as well. You know, so you can kind of, you kind of get the best of both worlds over there. That's definitely one of the things Burlington is, is definitely most well known for. It does also offer some good outdoor amenities. Um, it has Cummings Park, which is over 200 acres of, of green space. 
um, and you have, offers plenty of activities throughout the year, you know, with walking paths, picnic areas, playing fields. Um, it is a really popular destination for locals living in Burlington. And Burlington also offers a great school system, right? Again, a lot of, a lot of families have been moving into Burlington, you know, so it, it does, if you've got kids, it's another great place to consider. Um, in terms of transportation and convenience, you know, very, very easy to get to. You know, 95 goes right through Burlington, so you can get on the highway system um, and get in and out um, into the city or wherever you're going pretty easily. You know, it's like I said before, probably like 25 minutes on average, I would say, um, depending on traffic. So definitely put Burlington on your list. I think it's, you know, the mall is obviously a big component of it, but it does have other things going on there. Um, that just make it a really attractive place to live. Now, in terms of pricing in Burlington, um, Burlington prices, are, I would say, are kind of in the middle between what we just talked about, Stoneham and Melrose. Um, average median price right now is about $760,000. So you can see right in the middle. The one thing I will say about Burlington though, is they have been developing a lot of larger single family homes. You know, a lot of like three to 3,500 square foot homes have been developed recently there. Then those kinds of homes, got, you know, new construction can easily be pushing 1.3, 1.4 and plus. So if you're looking for an area with, that you can uh, find these kinds of homes, Burlington is certainly one of them. Um, but again, average medium price are looking about 765, um, which is very much in line with these other suburbs. And finally, number four on my list that I wanted to highlight the fourth city is Woburn. Now, Woburn also is about 20, 25 minutes out of Boston. Again, depending on traffic, that is the main theme here. They do have a commuter rail stop, which is really nice. As I said before, if you're, if you're a commuter in the city, you can hop on the commuter rail and kind of get in and out of the city pretty easily. It's pretty easy to drive as well. It does have easy access to 93 and 95. So of course you can get right on the highway system, get in and out towards the city as needed. So from a uh, transportation and convenience perspective, Woburn is just as good as all the other towns we just talked about. They do have also pretty good school system. So again, a lot of young families have been moving there. I know I've had a lot of uh, interest in talks about Woburn as just being a really quiet, you know, really quiet and nice suburb for people that are maybe priced out of the city to get into. Now, in terms of things to do, um, Woburn, of course, has plenty of parks, plenty of outdoor space. One of the things it's best known for is Horn Pond. It's a beautiful, beautiful pond. It offers uh, walking trails around it. Um, you know, can, you can hang out. It is really, really nice. You can also actually go kayaking and fishing within the pond. So plenty to do around the pond. Um, I actually, I remember selling uh, a home that was literally right on the pond and it just had amazing water views of the water um, and the buyers loved it. So, you know, the pond is certainly a big feature of it. You know, like the other uh, cities we talked about, plenty of restaurants, plenty of, uh, plenty of shops. Um, they actually, Woburn also has a Dave & Buster's, right? So if that's what you're looking for, um, that's located in Woburn. But again, another great suburb alternative that's quiet, has things to do, has a lot of outdoor amenities and I would certainly, certainly recommend to check it out. Um, in terms of pricing, it is on the lower end of the spectrum here. Uh, average medium price is 675,000. Um, so, you know, compared to some of the other suburbs we've talked to, it offers a little bit more uh, of a discount on a price wise. So another great al alternative for you guys to consider if you're looking to live north of Boston. So that is my list, my top four cities just outside of Boston. Um, that are north that I think you should be checking out. Um, of course, if you have any questions, comments, thoughts about any of this, make sure you put them in the comments below and I will definitely, definitely help 